In order to respect others, you must first respect yourself. Appreciate who you have become and don't change for those around you. Your qualities, your abilities, your personality is what distinguishes you as an individual. Don't sacrifice that individuality so that you can fit in with the crowd. Embrace your quirks, celebrate your image, and know that you should be whoever you want to be. The color of your hair, your skin, your clothes do not determine your worth as a human being, so look past the superficial and others will too. It's time to stop hating what you can't change. It's time to appreciate who you are. We may not like every aspect of ourselves. There may be features we possess that we yearn to change. We struggle with how we expect others to judge us and spend massive amounts of time ensuring we don't stand out, that we won't be scrutinized for being different. Uh, one thing I don't like about myself is that I'm shy. I'm red, green, colorblind. I haven't talked to my dad in over a year and a half. Sometimes I can be very lazy. My nose, my teeth. I really don't like my nose. I stress out a lot about my grades. I strongly dislike my ears. I weigh too much and I need to lose weight. I don't like my little ears. I don't like that I'm insecure about my weight because I used to be really fat. And I don't like my nose. But realize this, if we care about these blemishes enough, we will change them. But many of our self-proclaimed defects are stuck with us. To fret over these issues is whimsical. The best option is to embrace your imperfections. They're what distinguish you from everyone else, which should be celebrated, not cast down out of shame. We should focus on the things we admire about ourselves and be confident in our abilities. In doing this, we can be proud of who we are and look forward to the successes to come. What I do like about myself is that I'm musically talented. I like how I'm a good driver. I like that I've been six weeks clean and sober. I like that I'm religious. I like my smile. I try to see things through other people's eyes. I can like express myself to other people. I love my eyes. One thing I do like about myself is that I'm very tall. I like that I'm Asian. I like that I'm tall. I really like that I'm nice and I don't get involved in stupid situations. The celebration of one's individuality is the gateway to self-esteem, which deflects the harsh jibes and jeers that one may encounter in daily school life. Alex Cheeseborough, a junior at Granite Bay, has embraced his Scottish culture and is not hesitant to let others know it. How I express myself, um, I like to wear a kilt a lot, the traditional uniform of the Scottish people. Um, I like to wear punk jackets, listen to punk music. I just like to do the things that I like to do. And I don't want to be intimidated by what other people think of me or how others perceive me. I just want to do what feels good, what looks good to me, anything out there that it feels good to me. Um, I have expressed some criticism. I've been called gay. I've been called various names, walking through the quad. Uh, not so much this year as in previous years. Maybe that's due to last year's ripple effect, but I have experienced some discrimination, but I hope that I can get better and can improve. But I feel really comfortable expressing who I am, my heritage, my culture, um, me personally, how I feel about the world, and I like sharing that with others, and I encourage others to express who you are and get out there and share it. Conformity is a suppressor of self-expression. It hinders our ability to be who we really are. If we can eliminate the fear attached to the pressure that surrounds us every day, we will be able to appreciate the eccentricities that we all carry.